right, so we're all done the refeed, and I ended up eating 883 grams of carbs, 422 grams of fat, unbelievable, I know, and 267 grams of protein. I wanted to get about that. Um, probably a bit more. Some of the macros were off, but it ended up being about 8,240 calories for the day, and I woke up leaner and tighter and the workouts were good I was sweating a lot more so guess what guys it does work why I ended up going higher than I anticipated mainly because um, you know sometimes during a refeed I feel like I'm not filling out I feel like you know it's just not working and I'll be a bit more intuitive I'll eat more than I anticipated I'll eat more if I feel that I need it um, one thing that I've noticed, I've found foods and I start to use foods that don't necessarily bloat me anymore because I don't like feeling bloated the day after the refeed, which makes it really hard to train when your stomach is full. Um, so yeah, that's what I ended up with. And here you're going to see now in the following videos what I actually ate, just some of it. I actually ate a bit more than this, but I forgot to film it because I was hungry and just wanted to eat. <laughs> All right, enjoy. All right, so meal one of my refeed is going to be one and a half cups of Cheerios, 100 grams of blueberries, four tablespoons of pancake syrup, regular pancake syrup, and uh, a quarter cup of milk. So this is what I'll start the day with just because I like the taste really and, you know, I'm not really trying to overfeed right now. But uh, just to get some food in, just to get some calories in, and then I'll get my workout in. And then I'll have another meal. Today's going to be a lighter refeed only because I'm not as depleted. Uh, I still want to refeed, so I'm not going to go crazy. And I'm not going to extend the frequency of my refeed. So I'll just go probably around the 350 to 450 carb range. About 120 to 150 grams of fat and about 200 grams of protein. Alright, meal two. We have two English muffins, two whole eggs on each. One slice of cheddar cheese on each. Two rice cakes with two tablespoons of strawberry pure jam on each. One tablespoon of natural peanut butter on each. Remember, this is not a cheat day. This is a refeed day. I'll post the macros on the video of each of the meals so you guys can see exactly what I'm eating. And like I said, right now I'm doing this every three to four days. Typically even more calories on the fourth day. That I'm doing today it's just I'm not as depleted so I won't do such a high volume of food on a day where I'm not as depleted as I'm listening to my body's biofeedback all right another meal so we have two rice cakes with two tablespoons of regular peanut butter total and uh, three and a half sorry four tablespoons of strawberry jam once again and we have baklava which is a Arabic dessert. I don't know how to count the macros on that, but I'll figure that out. And, um, you know, a lot of people ask me why I typically refeed with dirty foods, quote unquote, or junk foods, quote unquote. And the reason being is that, you know, when you're eating this many calories and, you know, I'm not trying to necessarily eat for enjoyment. It's more so to get the effect of the refeed. I don't want to sit there and eat rice all day or cleaner foods as they are less caloric dense. So it takes a lot longer. Um, it's a lot harder to get the food in, you know, it just takes a lot longer and I don't feel, I just really want to get the effect of having the refeed. I want to fill out the muscles. I want to get leaner. I want to replenish glycogen stores and I want to feel good. And you're going to notice on a refeed day when you actually need it, you know, when you start eating the carbs again, you're going to sweat like a pig. You're going to sweat like an animal. And, uh, you know, I also had a protein shake with this as well. I didn't include it. And that's one of the problems on with me filming for you guys is that I forget to include things sometimes just because my metabolism is going crazy and I just want to eat, get it over with and get to the next meal so that I can get all the carbs in. And like I said, honestly, guys, every four days or so at this point in my diet, I'm eat, having days like this. That's how I got my body to this point where I'm just overloaded with food. To the point that I need this many calories um, in order to get leaner, in order to keep my body progressing, you know, and the a problem most people make is that they don't listen to signs their body gives them and instead they cut calories more when they're not getting leaner when in reality sometimes their body needs more 
you coax the body into thinking that it's okay to give up more fat. It starts to get leaner. Your training increase, your training quality increases because of the calories that you have, um, so that you can push through for another three days and 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 get tighter, harder, leaner, and uh, continuously progress. All right. So that's one more meal in the books with about 40 grams of whey protein. <laughs> All right, we're at Red Bench in Toronto, so we got ice cream cookie. I'll put the macros on them after. I don't know exactly what they are, but um, probably not that good. But it doesn't really matter today because I'm probably going to go over on the macros that I said initially. Maybe go up to about 650 total. I think I'm somewhere around there with this. Um, and you kind of got to gauge it as well, right? So see how you feel. If you're filled out, you can actually touch your muscle. You can see if it's filled out, if you can handle more food, if you're digesting the food, things like that. So you got to be in tune with your body and know exactly, it, you know, how much you need. It's, it's, it's experience as well. The more you refeed, the more you're going to get used to doing so, right? So um, obviously with foods like this, they're a lot more... Uh, they digest a lot more rapidly so you're going to be able to consume a lot more without feeling lethargic and bloated throughout the day um, but this is some kind of concoction that I'm going to eat now and I'm talking about. Good. All right, the final one of the day, Nutella funnel cake. Don't even ask how many calories. I'm going to have to add everything up tomorrow because I definitely went over the macros that I planned to, but it's okay because it's all going to work out. You're going to wake up a bit bloated tomorrow, but definitely leaner, consistently leaner as the days progress. So I couldn't even guess how many this fucking thing has, but it's all right. It's all good, it's worth it, and uh, the results speak for themselves.